with Yorgos Yakamakis starting up top. Tiago Almada at the 10 with a modest three goal contributions this season. We expect a formation with three in the back attacking, five defending, and the lone change from their recent draw versus Philadelphia 10. Yorgos Yakamakis, Christian Benteke. Here we go. Glad you've joined us on MLS Season Pass and at Mercedes Benz Stadium. We're underway. MLS season. The clearance by Yakamakis. Peltola back for Klink. Klink service up for this and sending it over the bar, Lucas Bartlett. And you get all the pieces around him, and that's what they've done because he brings an attribute that not many players can bring. It's not just his ability to win the ball, but it's what he does with it, his intelligence. Look, Janice. On a second chance, able to loft this across, brought down by Mosqueda. That's Yakamakis clipped in the box. It's a penalty. Joe Dickerson did not hesitate pointing to the spot. Atlanta will have a chance for a 1 0 lead. In his career, Tiago Almada is 3 of 4 from the spot. Tiago Almada for the Atlanta lead, strikes and scores. And the five stripes off and running. It's only the fourth time this season they've scored in the first half of a game. Start from Atlanta. You just see Almada, he's only got one thing in his mind. Find the back of the net. Get that early goal. Get DC. Love Janidze. Trying to get on this. Taken by DC. Coup de Pietro. So that ball straddles the touchline and played Peltola. Benteke into space, Klink to get on this, and four into the attack in transition for D.C. United. Aaron Herrera on the move, plays it ahead. That's a good ball for Stroud, works it across, Benteke, tie game! Christian Benteke levels the issue at one in lightning quick fashion. D.C. United strikes back. Great header from Benteke, as we see, in the right place at the right time. But the way DC United were able to break any press from Atlanta from back to front, it's something that you can guarantee Gonzalo Pineda. He... Gathered here by Klick, twisted around, fouled, and the first yellow card out of the pocket of referee Joe Dickerson. Because it was a foul initially from Yakumakis plays the advantage and then Klick had just seen he's brought down by Sleesh. Met by Muyamba, that ball popped up high, Atlanta comes away with it, now Muyamba in transition. Has Lobjanidze tried to continue on himself, it's a yellow card issued to Christian Dayome. Lennon with a touch, Sleesh, Muyamba. Given away. Now Ben Teke. Four back the other way in transition for DC. Could it be a true? Saved by Guzan. Touch by Shroud out wide. And the return. Clink. Shroud. This is so well constructed. Plays it across. They had Ben Teke initially. And this ball deflects in. Christian Ben Teke again. DC United has answered back big time. It's a two to one lead for the visiting team. It's right hand sides that you are likely to see. That involves Herrera, it involves Stroud, and it involves Click. And it's brilliant. Stroud just gets in the right place at the right time. But it's not just the initial cross, it's the presence of mind with his left foot to put it back in to Benteke. And for Benteke, it's an absolute dream. The only thing he has to be mindful of is the player that's diving in just in front of him, Lennon, but he keeps his eye on the ball. And they say sometimes you make your own look and it's exactly what they did in this scenario. The ball goes to Lope Genite and it's Peltola. He just puts the ball into his own net inadvertently. There's very little he can do about it. It's a cross initially from Lope Genite. And like I say, the defender. On if the delivery is right, these are huge opportunities for DC United. You just see the difference in height. It's very difficult for Atlanta. Now the corner by Klick, headed down by Benteke, making three. It's a hat trick for Christian Benteke. And DC United has reclaimed the lead. 
tight on it, but he gets up and he heads it down. You just see Guzan, he's rooted to the spot because what happens is when the ball goes past the goalkeepers in terms of the cross, Guzan then goes across to his right. And any centre forward knows the best place to head it is back where it came from. And it's the teams just can't compete with the physicality and the height that DC United have. Stroud puts that ball between the legs of Abram. Now Cleek, top of the 18 as DC United looks for more. Firing from long range. That shot goes wide. That's Jackson Hopkins, who didn't miss by much. There was a push prior to the kick. I think it was just Yakumakis and Click. Yellow card out of the pocket of Joe Dickerson. Philadelphia Union unbeaten in such a long time. Early on in the season, Orlando went there and shot them. Won and ended up having a really good season, and that was the basis it worked off. I want to say there's just too much talent down there to fail, but we've been fooled before. Yellow card, Dickerson issues that to Abram. One in this stadium since October of 2020. There was a sparse crowd on hand that night. That was the pandemic year in MLS. This is a live ball, top of the box. Cleek sends that wide. The player is down. That is Benteke slowly working himself back to his feet. Here's Almada. Almada again, top of the 18. The foul is called. It's given just outside the 18. And dangerous doings now in the D.C. area. It's more important than anything about the individual. And that's all about Benteke. He gets a hat trick, but he's part of the collective. Pirani plays this back. Cleish saved by Guzan. This is still a live ball. Had to get a second hand to it. And it's cleared out by Atlanta. Gonzalo Pineda's side on the verge of going winless in six in MLS. And for the first time in their history, they've lost three straight home games. 